Good morning everyone. I am Ashley Tote Jeripalda, a student of BSN 1B and I am about to discuss the respiratory system. So, what is respiratory system? The human respiratory is the series of organs responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The primary organs of the respiratory system are the lungs, which carry out the, this exchange of gases as well as breathe. When we breathe, how the respiratory work? When we breathe, the air enters through the nose or the nasal cavity or in the mouth or the oral cavity. And it will pass through the pharynx. The pharynx is a part of both the digestive and respiratory system. For the digestive system, its muscular walls function in the process of swallowing and it serves as the pathway for the movement of food from the mouth to the esophagus. The esophagus. As part of the respiratory system, it allows for the movement of air from the nose from the nose and the mouth to the larynx. This is the larynx. In the process of breathing, the larynx, also called the voice box, a hollow tubular structure connected to the top of the windpipe, windpipe or the trachea. Air, pa air passes through the larynx on its way to the lungs. The the larynx also produce vocal sounds and prevent passage of food and another foreign particle into the lower respiratory tract. So, let's move on to the trachea. The trachea or the windpipe is a wide hollow tubular that is connected to the larynx or the voice box to the bronchi of the lungs. The, the carina of trachea a ridge of bay at the base of the trachea windpipe or windpipe that separates the openings of the right and the left right and left main bronchi large large air passages that lead from the trachea to lungs, also called the tra tracheal carina. So let's move to the bronchi. Bronchi are the main passageway into the lungs. When someone takes a breath through their nose or mouth, the air travels into the larynx. The next step is through the tra trachea, which carries air into the left and right bronchus the bronchi become smaller and closer they get I become smaller the closer they get to the lungs issue and are then consider bronchiles so let's move on to the alveoli. Alveoli are the balloon-like air, suck, air sucks located at the distal ends of the bronchial tree. The alveoli is also no, uh, is like a grape, grape, a bunch of grapes. There are there as many as 700 million alveoli in each lung. So in each lungs there are over 700 million alveoli where they facilitate gases exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide move from the bloodstream. So when we breathe the out uh, the in alveoli, it, the occurrence of exchanging of gas 
when you inhale and exhale. There are two, there are let's Pleora. There are two type, uh, there are two Pleora. The parietal Pleora and the vis visceral Pleora. A tissue that protects the cushion of lungs. The inner, the inner layer, the visceral pleura. Masa, look, ah, ito nga di sakub ha? Ito nga di sakub. Wraps around the lungs and it stuck so tightly to the lungs that it cannot be peeled off. The outer layer or the parietal pleura, this. This line the inside of the chest wall. The very thin space between the layers is called the pleural cavity. A liquid called pleural fluid, pleural fluid lubricates the pleural cavity so that the two layers of the pleural tissue can slide against each other. So let's move to the Diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. Diaphragm is a thin skeletal muscle that sits at the base of the chest and separates the abdomen from chest. It contracts the and flatten when you inhale. This creates a vacuum effect that will that pull airs into the lungs. The diaphragm. When you exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and the air push, pushes out of lungs. It also has some non-respiratory function as well. As well, the diaphragm. In the diaphragm is a thin skeletal muscles that sits at the base of the chest and separates the abdomen and from the chest. It contracts the and flatten when you exhale. Oh, inhale. Inhale. This creates a vacuum effect that pull air into the lungs when you exhale. The diaphragm relaxes and the air pushed out of lungs. It also has some non-respiratory function as well as the diaphragm increases Abdominal pressure to help the body get rid of vomit, urine, and feces. It also places pressure on the esophagus to prevent acid reflux. There are five functions of the respiratory system. First, the gas exchange. Second, the regulation of blood pH. The third, voice production. The fourth, olfaction. And the fifth, in innate immunity how, how important the respiratory system the respiratory system has two very important things it brings oxygen into into our bodies which we need for our cells to live and function properly and it helps us get rid of carbon dioxide which is a waste product of cellular function so that's the end of our discussion today. I hope you have something learned today and thank you for watching. Bye.